Welcome back, conspiracy theorists, to more X-Files. Listen to that tribal music play. Serves absolutely no purpose in this section. And yay, the car reader works. Find something, Scully? Mulder, where are you? I just got on the elevator. I'm instinctively drawn to the basement. I found patient files on the Winslow girls, and what I can only describe as genetic maps. You mean some kind of DNA identification system? No, more than that. Their gene signatures were copied and used for something. This is genome mapping beyond any recognized scientific capability. Scully, I left a note in the security office that details how to make an access card for the elevator. I want you to see what you can find on the second floor. Hell yeah. Yeah, we have to actually activate this elevator in order to get to do anything. Oh yeah, it's, it's... Well, we go in this door here. I'm stating the obvious now. Which means I have nothing to talk about already. We're kind of going old school because this is actually going to be a real short video for me. This area here reminds me of Silent Hill Homecoming. I don't know why. Yeah, Scully, I'm standing in a room with containers marked biohazardous material filled with what appears to be black oil. My God, Mulder. You have proof in front of you. And there's equipment. I I'm not sure I need you to look at it, but I think it's used for cellular manipulation, genetic cloning. I'm on my way. I don't even know if they actually explain what's going on here. Oh, it's the X-Files, so you know they're not going to give you a complete explanation. So that other door in that one hallway, if we'd gone through there, it would have led to another door that would have been locked. And we don't have access granted on that, so we have to come activate this. I uh, I think we just released. There's like a body or some black oil stuff in the other room. We activate this to actually open these things out. I don't know why we're doing this, but it seems like you kind of have to in order to unlock it. So that's what we're gonna do and for some reason his gun wasn't equipped I I think he did put it away in the cutscene which I guess you can admire the consistency but that's pretty freaking annoying not unlike the targeting in this game seriously it's kind of crappy when I have to resort to kicking these things I actually have plenty of ammo which will change because I think every time we switch an episode I think it goes back to just your basic handgun and no extra bullets or maybe a few extra bullets or maybe no extra bullets. I honestly don't know. Uh, we'll find out because this is this is the last video we're going to have for Mulder's episode one of this game. So yeah, good times. And after that, I kind of want to continue with Mulder's game just because, but I think I am. I really don't want to do it, but I think I am going to just go ahead and do Scully's version of this game next. Yeah, so in here is the black oil thing. I don't know if we need to trigger this or what. I still, I never once saw it. I got infected by it once trying this. But I never once saw it, so we're just getting the hell out of there. I don't know if we need to activate anything or there, or we just needed to go in there to get it to trigger. But somehow doing all that, and I'm not really running very fast, would probably help if I turn off the flashlight. Somehow doing all that, I think we can now actually go through the next door. Oh, I know we can go through the next door because I already did this, but I'm not really sure why we had to do all that in order to get through this next door. Hi. In here, it's a female zombie. Dude, this is like Resident Evil now. We're, it's like we're in... The, Actually, I know I said this reminded me of Silent Hill Homecoming, and yeah, they had the underground facility as well. This also kind of reminds me a little bit of that lab in Resident Evil 2. Bad ripoff, maybe? Well, at least the doors open normally, so that's something. Yeah, I don't think we could get in here before we did all that other random stuff. So I'm not sure why that's the case, though. I mean, I would have got it if we had to pick up a access card of some sort but yeah I, I, I don't know I'm a bit puzzled by that but uh, uh, well not a big deal Just checking my health I think I forgot that I think when the episode switched over to act 2 I think we got restored health so that's pretty cool 
Now the crappy thing, like I was saying, is I think there's a save point. Yeah, yeah, use it. I just say it. I say use any save point you come across. I don't know why I meant that. Yeah, noise, but I did. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh, I could have way too much fun with that. I'm a child. I'm easily amused. Seriously. So yeah, we need to get into that door right there. I didn't realize at first, or it took me a while to realize that there was a switch we had to activate there in order to get in here. And I'm firing at nothing, but I know there are zombies in there, so I was hoping to shoot zombies, but you know. No, the game is Ha! You flew into the wall. Yeah, you stay attacking that wall, buddy. Oh, I take out your friend. That's pretty cool. Even though he keeps shooting the wall, I don't think you can actually aim up and down like you can Resident Evil. Now that guy, now he's being a dick. Although, I don't know how I got him to do that. I got him to push him right off, so that's pretty cool. So, we actually need to come in here to get a card key so that we can get out of here. Now, normally, I would, say, I would save again after doing this, but... I figured if I had to redo this part... I could do it better than I did. I don't know that I really got hurt there, though. I know he's trying to grab me, but I seem to pull him off pretty quick. But it doesn't really matter. So. Damn, I wanted to say open sesame, but the door was already open. Yeah, uh, every one of these games, it seems like, has to have the secret, secret laboratory. This kind of feels like the end of the game, actually. It's actually really weird that it's three episodes. And it hasn't really been that long so far. I mean, it's been pretty short. Like, if this were the end of the game, this would be insultingly short for a game. Although, at least you'd have Skelly's game to play through, but... We do still have two more episodes left, so... Uh, I'm gonna arm the shotgun here. You can actually do this with the handgun if you want. If you're strapped for ammo... Which, with my big guns, I actually kind of am. Although I did just pick up shotgun ammo. But, you know, screw it. We are going with the shotgun. And we have to actually walk in there. I thought she was going to come out. But no, we have to actually walk in there. I'm on mobile. Caitlin? He got owned! Yeah, so we don't have the stiletto anymore. I remember from the show, we, they had to actually leave it stuck in them in order to keep it from... in order to keep them from coming back. So it didn't actually kill them, it just sort of like... immobilized them, I guess. Kinda killed them, but only as long as it stayed in the back of their neck. So I guess that would make sense why we left it. But fortunately for this fight, we just have to shoot the thing until it dies. And I forgot to mention earlier, but happy Back to the Future Day. I think this was the day that Marty McFly and his band of merry cohorts traveled into the future. October 21st, 2015. I haven't actually seen um, Back to the Future 2 very much, and I think she's dead now. Hello? Yeah, she's dead. Awesome. And I realized I fired off shotgun shells randomly, not even taking into consideration that I might be using up all my ammo. I actually don't know if we need to do that fight, but I did it. Yeah, I, I really don't know if that's required. And I'm looking in here right now like, okay, there's got to be an item. There's got to be some purpose to this. No, there's really not. So, again, I don't know. This may be an optional fight. I, I went ahead and did it because I didn't really lose anything. She kind of cheaped me up there a little bit briefly, but that was about it. And there's some shotgun shells there if you want them. And it looks like I still got 20 left, so not too bad. But I don't know. I'm not really too worried about ammo because I've got the infinite ammo cheat and I'm not afraid to use it. That may bother some people, but... I think what I would do is either do it to have fun, which I've mentioned before, or do it like one of the guys that I'm subscribed to who does videos. 
he'll do it in Resident Evil 2. He's been doing that occasionally. Just if he's out of ammo, he'll throw on the infinite ammo cheat. You don't have anything for me? Stingy bastard. How dare you get killed and not leave things for me? So, but actually what we need is right here. It's that card. Well, a key card anyways. Ugh. Just had this weird belch throw up sort of thing in my mouth. It was disgusting. Ugh. God. I haven't even been drinking. So, yeah. Um, if my commentary seems a little different, um, I got a phone call in the middle of that boss fight. So, since it's in post, my commentary that is, not a big deal. So we need that first switch for game progression. And technically, you don't need this one for game progression, but you really do. I... I guess it's possible to do what we're about to do without what we're going to get, but I'm just going to go ahead and say, go ahead and open this gate. And a lot of these things look like doors to me, which is why I'm walking into them right now. But this is actually where we need to go. You can see that big gun there. I don't know why he will not pick it up right now. We have to be right on that side of the table and just in the camera angles fucking with me. It's just not cool. But there's some ammo for it. M4. I guess it's a more badass machine gun? Oh, well, you'll see it here in a second. More M4 ammo. So, they give this to us right at the right time. Again, cannot pick it up there. I walk around this room a little bit, and I had a cut over there. This is actually the angle we need to be at to actually finally pick the stupid thing up. So, that's good times. And now we can eventually leave. But yeah, back to the future day. So that's that's pretty cool. I, I feel sad I didn't notice that. I had a friend of mine tell me that earlier today, this morning. I said this earlier today, this morning. It's really when I should be going to bed now. So, ah, the fucking camera angles mess me up again in this room. I was going to go around the other side of the desk there, but oh well. So, now definitely use the save point use it and then come this way step away from the panel you cloned those girls you infected them with black oil and alien virus and made genetic copies of their mutated genes I said before you know a lot of things agent Mulder and now I'm gonna kill you Crycheck? No, stop! No! Crycheck, you son of a bitch! You got the gift I left for you, Mulder? In Red Falls in the post office? What kind of game are you playing? No, this isn't a game. Take a look at what's happening down there. This is a war. And these fools, they've tried to defeat the devil by creating Frankenstein's monster. Drop the gun, or I'll shoot you where you stand. After I saved your life upstairs, Scully? Crycheck, I will kill you. <clears throat> Mulder! What's down there? Your future, Mulder. You want to keep talking in riddles, or do you want to tell me what it is? Inside that shell, they're breaking through. There's an artifact. It's alien, Mulder. And I know you feel it. Mulder? Mulder, we have to get out of here. It's happening again. Crycheck! Mulder, come on! Mulder! Oh, hell. Yeah, this does feel like an end of game area. It's kind of weird. And, um, I will say this Nicholas Lee, who does the voice for Crycheck, and we're fighting zombies now. I know you can't see them, but they're there. Nah, uh, he does an okay job on here. Mulder and Scully, their voices are kind of blah and emotionless. I guess flat and emotionless, whatever. But, yeah, um, he does an okay job. 
And here I'm just amused by shooting stuff that I'm hearing stuff that I assume I'm shooting things. And that was just kind of funny to me. Um, but he says it's happening again. I'm thinking he th he's, he's mentioning, and we got to hit the switch. You're going to see me hit it twice because I didn't do this properly the first time. Uh, but we need, you only need to hit it once and run. Run, Mulder, run. Uh, Mulder mentions it's happening again. I think he's referencing what happens to him in the season six finale and first two episodes of season seven. I mentioned this takes place in season seven. And I think he's referencing something that happens to him there. Yeah, get out the M4 and just start shooting here because baddies show up. And yeah. And this is why I say you really need the M4 because nothing else seems to really I guess you could take him down with something else, but you really just, this gun makes it so much easier. Yajdalvas, you will return to me. Mulder, what happened? What is it? I don't know, but they've taken the artifact. Holy shit balls, we're facing a boss who doesn't stand a chance. Oh yeah. Fuck him. I think I've already almost killed him. And I didn't realize this when I was playing this, but I, I mean, I think he is now dead, actually. And we're just dealing with these things that he brought back to life. And I'm frantically trying to get to my menu to check my health there. Uh, you think start would be the button for that, but no. I can't really complain too much. There have been other games I've played which have had worse buttons. Than that. But yeah, I'm trying to keep an eye on my health. I think the he was listed as the harvester. I think he's still alive at this point when I'm fighting, so that's why my panic, although I'm glad I used the health item because, yeah. And something else I wanted to say, I've been my rewatch of the X-Files, I just started season 6 and I've noticed a like, big decline in mobile. David Duchovny's acting in the first episode of season 6, compared to his acting in 1 through 5 in the first movie. I just wanted to point that out there while I was thinking about it. Run this way. The whole town's in flames. The cover-up begins, and we come away with nothing, Scully. What is that? I don't know, but I hope there are answers here. Dun dun dun! Yeah, so that's Mulder's excursion through episode one. Next video, we will start with Scully's, I guess, version of episode one.